We've seen one Prime Minister who was desperate for the job and who's made a pig's ear of it. We may see another in the next few months. Rishi Sunak has now gone on record in the last few minutes as saying that he would rather lose with dignity than make false promises. That's pretty noble. And I must say, uh, we ought to take that seriously and we ought to respond um, to that. This is, uh, this is a man who I think has a certain amount of dignity. Now, I've said in the past that I think it's a choice between a um, between two fairly lame politicians, and that is Boris's fault. That's the fault of Mr. Johnson. Correction, I did promise uh, one of the people um, who follows me here that I wouldn't refer to Boris as Boris. It's so difficult not to do so. But uh, Johnson definitely has made a pig's ear of being Prime Minister and is doing so spectacularly at the moment. At the moment, what would happen if there were a major international crisis? Who would take uh, command? Boris has said that he doesn't want to do anything. Johnson has said he doesn't want to do anything. And uh, instead, he's um, swanning around on his honeymoon. He's about to retire. Should, couldn't he leave it till then? What is the what is the sense of him being in Slovakia at this moment? I simply do not understand. It seems morally repugnant. And against that, Boris, uh, against that, Rishi Sunak is looking quite commendable and earning some sort of reputation as somebody with quite broad shoulders. I didn't have a lot of respect for him in the past. I have increasingly more respect for him now. I think he might even make quite a good Prime Minister. At least he demonstrates that he can change his mind and learn from situations, that he's not desperate to appease the mob, that he doesn't uh, spin on a dime to put out um, uh, to put to put out policies which he's not thought through. In contrast to Liz Truss, who seems to be prepared to say anything to get her hands on the keys to number 10. I begin to despair.